Hey, hey, hey. Look what I finally got my hands on. Yes, almost 10 years too late, but I've got my hands on it. It is, of course, a Wacom Cintiq 22-inch drawing monitor, which is Wacom's entry-level Cintiq for people on a tight budget. <coughs> so without further ado, let's unbox this beast and see what it can do. Be warned though, this thing is huge. You might need more than one pair of hands to unbox it. So inside the box is another box, go figure. This smaller box has all the goodies to allow one to interact with the screen, i.e. HDMI cable, power cable, USB cable. So once you've worked out how to connect the three cable system they have going on, you can switch the protective flap back up and hit that power button at the top of the Wacom. I really love the built-in stand that has an array of different working levels to suit everyone, as well as the pen holder which holds extra nibs in case one presses too hard from time to time. I recommend using a digital artist glove, which I bought from Amazon, as this allows your hand to glide across the screen for a more snag-free drawing experience. There's absolutely something ama like magical, just being able to slide your hand across the screen and interact with so many different levels and have so many pressure levels and everything. So the actual working screen size is 21.5 inches, which is plenty big enough for most tasks, whether it be sketching in Photoshop or 3D rendering. This will be big enough to flow with your creative ventures. There is no 4K here, unfortunately, but at 22 inches, I really have not noticed any difference. Another great feature is the pen does not need to be charged at all. It doesn't even have a battery. The screen protective layer is durable and scratch proof, especially considering that this is going to get some heavy use. So it has to have that kind of, that kind of protection. Wacom's software is very intuitive and also very customizable. So bonus points again go to, of course, Wacom. This Cintiq can reach 72 NTSC color gamut, which if paired with a more color accurate monitor works very well considering the £850 price compared to their top end ranges, which can range between two and a half grand and three and a half grand. Unfortunately, this price point will naturally have some caveats. The color is good, but to be honest with you, I would have preferred a little bit more NTSC sRGB, but like I said, if you pair this with like a color accurate monitor or a reference monitor, something like that, you're going to get equally good results. But just the pure fact that you can actually directly draw onto a screen and have that sort of like and be able to take your work digitally without having that barrier for £850, this is almost like a steal. Their Pro Pen 2 has virtually no lag in my testing. I also did not see any parallax and love the fact I can tilt with natural tilt recognition. Judging by my artwork, you can see I'm still in the learning phase. However, using digital is less messy while I refine and learn a bit more within my art journey. This screen will also allow me to edit my YouTube videos as well as my, any photographs I take. It is really a multitasker. I'm glad to see Wacom releasing products that can compete with the competition as there does seem to be a few other companies trying to take down Wacom or take on Wacom uh, because Wacom used to be like a gold standard like anyone that was a digital artist anyone that worked in the movies 3D rendering um, animation probably had a Wacom they had a Cintiq that you could probably touch and draw directly on the screen and it was always Wacom, okay? Now, the technology has been around for a while, but it was always like Wacom that had this technology. But as we've seen, well, we've all noticed, we've got touch screens everywhere now, we've got screens that you can draw directly on. The technology is getting cheaper and it's getting more affordable. So that's bringing other companies to the table. So Wacom, you are still my favorite because I've only ever known Wacom. The build quality is br is really good. It comes with a built-in stand. 
if you're like me who I've just put the pen on and I do everything with the pen so I like to rest my hand on the my other arm and my other hand on the screen and I can do that with the bezels because they're, they're plenty big enough to not get in the way of the actual picture and not get in the way of, of the creative process. So who is this Wacom 22 inch actually for? It's for it's for anyone who's on a budget who can't really afford the top of the range pro versions, the pro line even, but would like to have a piece of the pie, you know, to have this technology in your home for under a thousand pounds, it's a no brainer. I finished this dragon in under two hours, but this was partly due to being my first time using this screen and the pen. It was so intuitive and felt so, so natural. I would highly recommend this to anyone just starting out the digital art dream. Thanks very much for watching this quick unboxing video with a tad bit of a review. I mean, I did sort of go into the details a little bit and I cannot wait to keep using this device. So I'm going to leave you with this with like a time lapse of a dragon that I drew from the Broken Puppet. He does fantastic drawing tutorials on YouTube. I highly recommend learning from him. Thanks so much for watching. If you like my content, please hit that like button and subscribe for more. Have a great day, night or evening.